Hey guys, how are you all today? I'm here with my March favourites for you um, and I've got quite a few things to go through, a lot of makeup items, so really excited to share those with you. Uh, so yeah, I'll get into it now. First thing I'll show you is a couple of skincare items and the first one is the Cocoa Butter by Palmer's Tummy Butter. Um, yeah, I've been using this for my pregnancy stretch marks and I'm really enjoying it more than the lotion and yeah it's really nice and thick and it's not greasy it doesn't get all over my clothes or anything and yeah I just find it's really moisturizing as for it doing its job um, getting rid of stretch marks it's probably not going to happen until after I have the baby I still got another four weeks to go so obviously still some growing happening so I really don't see them going away anytime soon, but it's just really nice to um, be able to rub this on my belly and yeah, keep it from getting really dry. The next one is this Garnier Michelet, I think that's how you say it, uh, cleansing water. Um, I really, really like this product. It does the exact same job as my Bioderma, but it's like half the price and you get more in the bottle. So I really do recommend this. Um, I have seen a few other people mention this on YouTube. So um, yeah, and I believe that they're quite happy with it as well. So if you haven't already, definitely go and check that one out. The next one here is this Rituals, um, what is it? Ginger and Apple, I think, yeah, little perfume. I got this in my Her Fashion box, I think it was last month, um, and I love it. It just, oh, it smells so good. It I've, I mentioned before, it smells like my white Christmas candle that I get from dusk uh, every Christmas and yeah I'm, I'm up to about here so I've been wearing it every single day this month I just really really like it um, which has been great because being pregnant there's a lot of perfumes that I normally like that I've sort of been steering clear of because they're just you know my sense is heightened and I don't like them so um, yeah I've been really enjoying this Okay, so now on to the makeup items. The first one I have is a MAC paint pot, and that's in Rubenesque. It's just this beautiful, oh, I don't even know how to describe it, peachy gold color, I suppose you'd say. And I've been really loving this just as an all over the lid color. Um, I do normally use paint pots as a base, but if I'm in a bit of a hurry and I just wanna whack something on, I've been using this and it looks really pretty and I love it so um, I'm so glad I got this one. The other one is also a primer and this is the NARS Smudge Proof Primer. This primer is amazing. Um, it's clear so it has this little doe foot applicator. You just um, pop it on your eyes, rub it in and it's clear so anything you put over the top it's not going to affect the colour. And yeah, I really love this. It's definitely smudge proof. It does not crease at all. Uh, so I highly, highly recommend this. I think it's definitely worth the money if you have problems with creasing, uh, especially if you have oily lids. I don't normally have that problem, but um, I would say it would definitely work for that. The next one that I have been loving and I'm wearing today is this Tarte um, Lip Butter, I think it is. Yes, Amazonian Lip Butter. This is in Pink Peony. And I'm wearing it today, if I didn't mention that. And yeah, I love it. It's just this gorgeous sort of pinky coral color and it's really quite natural. Um, I've been really into the more natural looks this past month. Um, I'm not sure why, but I haven't been overly daring with my makeup. Um, there's definitely a few things I wanna play around with for Get Ready With Me's and tutorials and things that I will upload in the next, hopefully, month. But um, just for every day, I've just been really basic and neutral and yeah, I've been loving this. So it's been a bit of a staple this month. Another one which I'm also wearing today is the Hourglass Ambient Light Blush. And this is in Diffused Heat and it kind of goes with the lipstick. I think that's why I've been wearing it a lot. It's just a beautiful, corally, peachy sort of color. And um, yeah, I love it because if I'm in a hurry, I can whack it on. I don't have to do highlighting or anything because it's quite, you probably can't see it so I'm not even going to bother, but it does have a slight, slight a little bit of shimmer in there. So yeah, I find I don't need a highlighter or anything with that. So it's like a two in one. And again, another one I'm wearing today is my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. 
I've pretty much been using this the whole second half of the month and I love it wearing it today like I said um, basically the look I've been using is um, I do naked two in my crease then I do WOS in the inner half and faint on the outer half and then sometimes like today I use Crave which is the black one and just sort of do a bit of a winged liner effect and bring it under my eye as well so yeah I really like this it's great for just a quick and easy no fuss type of look so loving 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 this and I'm sure um, as I'm nearly a mummy it will be very handy when I don't have time I can just whack this on really quickly all right last thing is um, my beautiful neutral MAC palette so I've got my light and my dark one here that I finally finished last month um, if you saw my MAC haul you will know all about it I got quite a few new colors to fill and yeah I've been really loving it um, very into my neutral looks like I said and I've been using these a hell of a lot more now that I've completed them and I think that's because I've got a lot more matte colors so um, yeah I've been really loving all of the matte colors which I can't remember all the names of them and they're so hard to get out of this new palette but I know there's ones like soft brown um, oh, what's this one I really love this one I can't remember what it's called I'll have to link it below for you but yeah I've been really loving um, all of the matte shades so definitely very much in love with these palettes if you guys want a video on these palettes do let me know um, please give this video a bit of a thumbs up so I have an indication as to whether you guys want to see it I'll probably do them separately because it'll take me a while so I'll do like a light neutrals palette and then a dark neutrals one um, but yeah I'd really love to share that with you guys right that is it for my monthly favorites thank you so much for tuning in and watching um, I probably won't have an April favorites up I am due to have my baby at the end of the month so yeah I might be a little busy um, so I yeah probably won't unless I can try and get one up last minute or a little bit early but yeah um, I am trying to pre-film some videos because I am on leave now but like I mentioned before I've got four weeks to go so trying to get as much done as I can I'll probably be only uploading once a week for a little while um, just to see how I go instead of the twice a week like I normally do so um, yeah guys I hope you understand that um, I still want to get videos up for you guys but obviously I have a bit more of a priority happening so yeah right that's it from me guys I will see you in my next video once again thanks so much for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe don't forget to follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram for regular updates and I will talk to you soon bye